I'm one of Emmanuel's very first PhD students, and uh, his passing deeply affected me. So today, I want to take the opportunity to share some personal stories about Emmanuel and celebrate his life. Last time that I met Emmanuel was uh, in November, when, uh, when he came to visit for a week. And at the time, my wife, who had never met him before, um, went to see one of his presentations and then chatted with him a bit afterwards. And after when I learned that they, they met, I asked her, you know, what do you think about it? And what she told me in the description she gave me of their, their meeting uh, kind of brought me back in time to, you know, 15 years ago when I first, the first time I interacted with Emmanuel, when I was a PhD student at the time and Emmanuel just had started his job. What she told me was how impressed she was about the brilliance that was just so clear, so evident from Emmanuel the enthusiasm that he had about research and also how clearly he was able to explain kind of very, very complicated concepts and make them, you know, accessible and elegant. But she was also struck about how humble and how nice and how just kind he was with her, even though uh, he didn't know her at all. I think it's kind of a nice example that summarizes um, what kind of a mark uh, a man was, would leave on anybody they would interact with him even from a, for a short amount of time. Of course, Emmanuel was an incredible researcher and his research and his work have changed uh, the fields of macro and finance. But Emmanuel was also an incredible mentor. Um, on the research side, he, he really led by example. He was able with his work and his interaction with the students to always push the students to pursue kind of the deeper truths and the most fundamental questions. But where he really stood out as a, as a mentor was, um, uh, he was the, in the kind of this, by, by how much he cared personally about the human side of his students. You could see, you know, with the support he gave me, for example, during the stressful times of the PhD, but also how involved he, he was always with the kind of non, uh, with the non work kind of parts of my life afterwards, in the 10 years after my PhD. It was clear that he didn't just care about the development of my kind of professional life, but he actually genuinely cared that I would find a path of happiness and, and, and stability in my life. And it, it was clear that he, that he truly cared. One of the nicest memories I have of Emmanuel was how every time that we would meet and we would discuss about research and um, and new ideas and projects. And I would describe to him some new ideas I was getting excited about. You could see him light up. You could see that he was getting happy for me. He was sharing his enthusiasm for new projects and, and, the, and the research process. And I think that really captures nicely the essence of who Emmanuel was, but also the essence of what kind of a relationship he had with the students, what kind of mark he left uh, on his students. 